Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Anna Jolene and I'm the author of the Glory MC series, the Moonrise Beach series, and the new Heartbreaker series. So I am actually going to be filling out my week in my Hobonichi cousin. Um, we're planning the week of February 20 to the 26th and I decided that I wanted to use the Tansy Floral Kit so if you guys missed it, this is actually the collection that I use to set up my uh, monthlies and dashboards and the dailies. So um, I have a video where I set up all of this stuff in my February monthly setup. So um, if you guys want to check that out, you guys can see how I used one journaling kit to decorate for, for all of those things. But um, I do want to use um, the matching Hobonichi Cousin kit for this week and then I have also pulled the deco because I just love the florals of this. I feel like it's kind of like Valentine's Day ish but um, a little darker so um, I have this in the white matte option at the moment um, but you guys can purchase it in the transparent matte too in the shop so I'm gonna go and get started so this week is a little chill. Um, I don't have as many work things to deal with this week, so that's good because actually this week I'm a little, I don't know, I feel under the weather. The other day, I think I ate something bad, so it just wasn't sitting well with me, so I'm still kind of recovering from that. Maybe you guys can for my voice but I'm just adding the date covers and the bottom washi so um, I don't know if you guys have been watching all of my videos but I've been kind of switching up and kind of adding new things new content to my youtube channel so um, if you guys have not seen some of those videos, definitely check them out. I'm also going to be switching up how I'm going to be doing some of these plan with me videos. Of course, I will be still doing them this way. I just want to try something a little different, you know, because I have been using the Hobonichi planner for quite a while. So it might be nice just to kind of switch up how I'm filming these plan with me's so that they're not so repetitive, you know? So let me know if you guys prefer me just chatting away like this or if you guys would like me to do a different style of plan with me. Maybe you guys even want to see me planning in a different planner because I do also have my A6 Hobonichi. Um, this guy has been amazing. It's working really well for me. I did a flip through, so if you guys wanna see that, but I can also show you how I've been utilizing this planner if you wish. Um, and then I also have some of my Moleskine planners as well. So this one is the daily. I also have my weeklies in a TN here. This is from Chic Sparrow. I'm going to be doing a flip through of this soon. Actually, both of them. So, yeah. So, you guys can see how I'm using those planners too. But let me know if you guys would like me to do some plan with me's in different planners. Um, which I haven't really featured before. It might be interesting. So I have added the four full boxes, um, just kind of alternating them, and then I will take some of the checklists and we'll maybe pop them on the days where I don't have a full box so we can add some extra to-dos there. Because I want to have um, a checklist for all my chores as well. That's been really helpful for me. So the other day I actually did some laundry and then I heard I was upstairs editing a video while um, the laundry machine was going and I heard this really loud crash. And so I ran downstairs to see what it was and um, 
like some of the stuff that I had on top of the washing machine like fell down. I have no idea why that happened. It's kind of scary. And like the machine was like shaking so much that it toppled things over. Like how scary is that? I had no idea why it did that. Um, the other time I did the laundry, it was perfectly fine. So my laundry machine is just weird. Okay, so I have my sidebar tracker. This is for meals. And then I have my habit trackers there. I'm gonna add my this week as well. This week I am also going to be tracking reading and then I think I'm gonna go back to tracking self-care just because I have been a little sick and under the weather this week. So it might be a good idea to prioritize myself. Um, so this week I'm going to mark down that I want to design a travel theme kit. I realized that I have none of those in the shop. So um, since the warmer weather is coming up, um, I know a lot of people are going on vacation and things like that. So I want to create a kit for that. And then I want to make some more torn washi journaling stickers and maybe even some floral trims. I have to figure out how I want to make those. So that will require a brainstorming session first. And then um, I also need to make some A5 monthly kits for the Erin Condren. I will probably release those also very soon. So there we go. That is everything for that sidebar section. So on Monday, we are having a new release on Tuesday. Um, Glory and Close to You are going to be on sale. I just scheduled that actually today. So the sale is coming up much quicker than expected. And then I probably will have a new release on this day too. But um, let's see. Let's also mark down post office. I've been getting lots of transparent sticker orders, so I've been printing and cutting a lot of those. Let's also mark down that I want to go visit my mom. Hopefully the weather allows me to get there. And then also I want to film. So let's see, filming let's do on Tuesday and Saturday. Let's put it up here because I film in the morning and on this day I film in the afternoon. I also want to grab my little florals here. Let's add some of these and I want to add this one here at the bottom. And then this one can go here. I have some scripts and icons that would be great to layer with that on top. So um, that's my plan for that guy. And let's use the, the biggest one and we'll add it to Sunday and I can mark down family time on that. As for the little sections, I'm just going to scatter some of the smaller deco pieces so that I can add my script next to it or my icons. So um, as you guys can see in terms of actual plans there's not much to write down but um, when I do this is kind of how it looks like at the end of the week. So it gets filled up pretty easily and I have a flip through of this planner already up on my channel. So if you guys are interested to see all my finished spreads, you guys can check that out. I will leave a link to it. This week I want to work on my next draft of my book. And I'm actually thinking of changing the title. 
So let's see if I end up doing that or not. I don't typically change up my titles after I've written the book, but this one just doesn't feel right to me. So I might actually change it to something else I like better. I also have to read some research books and then go through my editor's notes. Um, what else? I also need to send out a newsletter and a blog post on this day for this event right here. So um, in terms of videos, I do want to show you a flip of this planner here. This is my Moleskin Daily to show you how I've been utilizing that. And then I also got one of those planner caddies. It's actually a baby diaper organizer, but I'm using it to house some of my planner essentials. So um, I mentioned that I got one in a previous plan with me and I asked if you guys wanted to see a video on it and a lot of you guys said yes. So that is probably one that I will film for you guys. Let me know if you guys have any other type of video requests and I can add that to my list of things to film. Um, and then on this side, I just want to declutter um, and do the laundry, vacuum. I want to clean my basement as well because I think we'll be spending some more time in there once the um, winter weather kind of warms up. So I want to get started on my spring cleaning for that too. And what else? I already did the bookshelves and my desk. So I think that might be it. Yep, so that is good. All right, so this is how my setup looks like for next week. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. If you guys are interested in the Tansy floral kit, you guys can use the code SAVE10 to save 10% off in my shop. And again, you have the option of choosing a transparent mat or white mat option. So I'm gonna leave this kit here so that I will use it as I fill up these pages throughout the day. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have any questions, you can leave them down below. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!